doing missions, I always spaced my station right in the middle of the map, which actually works out pretty good right here in this area, and I always keep one ship there. And then that ship, sometimes I'll send it up to Curdy if you're doing missions, I'll send you up to that zone up there, or up to Dominion up here, and that gives you a good, so that's always good to have one ship at home to handle those. But a lot of your missions, you know, I always put a ship in this area, and I put a ship in cling space here, and that'll help you get those missions and move around in your warp zones. You also want a ship that's out here in each one of these systems here, because that helps a lot. And if you're doing the fed line like I am, I always put my Voyager out here so I can get into that deep space to catch my missions and back. And the other thing with the fed line is it's going to have you come down from there into here quickly. So that'll actually allow you to cover those areas. And then once you get up into the 50s, some of the missions will be in this area here. But the fastest way into that Romulan space is actually coming right through here like this. So this ship that covers this area here. So it takes about five ships to cover the entire server. And then if you got the ship right here that's coming up from this direction, it can cover the beta sector as well. Pretty straightforward on doing the missions there like that.